A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Make no mistake about it. If any one of you thinks of himself as wise in the ordinary sense of the word, then he must learn to be a fool before he really can be wise. Why? Because the wisdom of this world is foolishness to God. As Scripture says, the Lord knows wise men's thoughts, he knows how useless they are. Or again, God is not convinced by the arguments of the wise. So there is nothing to boast about in anything human. Paul, Apollos, Kephas, the world, life and death, the present and the future, are all your servants. But you belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to God. The Word of the Lord a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was standing one day by the lake of Gennesaret, with the crowd pressing round him listening to the word of God, when he caught sight of two boats close to the bank. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, it was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and pay out your nets for a catch. Master, Simon replied, we worked hard all night long and caught nothing, but if you say so, I will pay out the nets. And when they had done this, they knitted such a huge number of fish that their nets began to tear. So they signalled to their companions in the other boat to come and help them. When these came, they filled the two boats to sinking point. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus, saying, Leave me, Lord, I am a sinful man. For he and all his companions were completely overcome by the catch they had made. So also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were Simon's partners. But Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on it is men you will catch. Then, bringing their boats back to land, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord.